From all the rumors circulating the internet about Henry Cavill getting the axe, to other famous faces that could now take over the iconic role, here's why co-creator James Gunn was always gonna kick out Henry Cavill. Now with a new, extremely exciting slate of movies coming up for DC, of course Superman is on that list. This is called Superman Legacy. This is being written by me. However, fans have again brought up the topic of Cavill being let go from his position, to which Gunn has revealed that the actor actually didn't have a deal for another movie. It wasn't in his contract. And even though we would all love to see his familiar face back in the red cape again, it really is all up to the co-creators at this point. And if we know anything about DC, it's that they have undergone a lot of changes over the past year. It seems like it is out with the old and in with the new. During a press conference when they were discussing the DCU's first chapter's roadmap, Gunn was questioned on Cavill's part. Can you see a theme here? Wherever he goes, Cavill will always be at the tip of everyone's tongue. He added, All I can tell you right now is Henry and Ben Affleck are not a part of this universe. The two actors who are part of the OG DC universe. We went through sort of the lover stage and then we hated each other for a bit afterwards. And now, you know, we're, we're, we're friends. Now, yeah, we've, we've, we've... So it is only natural fans want to see them back in these roles. But Gunn revealed that neither one was fired. They just simply weren't rehired. So really, if Cavill was never up for the role in the first place, there's no way Gunn could have let him go. Now, thankfully for all you DC fanatics, Gunn's work on the DCU has already begun. He confirmed during the press event and in a video shared on social media that Superman Legacy will launch the DCU in July 2025. Exciting, right? It feels like it has been forever since we've seen our favorite superhero on the big screen. Currently, Gunn is working on the script and having a great time, but it remains to be seen who will be brought on to play the Man of Steel. This brings me to my next point. Who are some potential famous faces that could take up the role of the one and only Superman? Well, first on the list has to be a fan favorite, David Corrin Sweat. Now, it's very easy to understand why fans online believe he'd fit the cape perfectly. The youthful actor shown in a variety of projects, including The Politician and Netflix's Hollywood. Oh, and who can forget he also appeared in Pearl, a horror movie, and Look Both Ways, a romantic coming-of-age story, which premiered in 2022. Both movies perfectly showcased him as a classic leading man with good looks and a whole lot of charm, which is why so many believe he would make for the perfect Superman. Standing at 6 feet 4 inches, he undoubtedly has the physique and appearance to play Superman. Nevertheless, he is a pretty unknown figure to the public, but this could work in his favor, giving the actor the potential to introduce a whole new generation to Superman. You crypt him in this squalor, but you chose the humans over us. And come on, have you seen David Corn Sweat? He's very nice to look at, which always brings in a crowd of its own. Now, another face that has gained a lot of attention in the past few years with his breakthrough performance as Eddie Munson in Stranger Things Season 4 is Joseph Quinn, who quickly became a household name in 2022. Since then, Quinn's become a highly sought-after actor, and he looks like the perfect choice to portray Superman. Side note, isn't it crazy that one show nowadays, especially if it's a Netflix series, can catapult seemingly average people into superstardom? Case in point, Joseph Quinn. Now, Quinn, like we just said, he's a star, but not so well known, especially not in the DC world. Although he is a bright rising talent who would attract attention and potentially fill the post for many years, with Quinn helming the iconic role, it can be hard to reel back in the OG Superman fans. But Quinn's portrayal of Eddie Munson in particular may hold the secret to what makes him a good Superman. Quinn exudes a natural charisma, while also possessing a delicate, vulnerable, yet very strong personality. One that would perfectly match with the character of Superman. The character, after all, should be welcoming and lovable, but also powerful. And Quinn perfectly projects that. He's like one of the villains you secretly love. Speaking of villains, this next guy played a similar role in the most recent Top Gun movie. He was cocky and arrogant, but in the end, has everyone's back. Of course, we're talking about Glenn Powell. Now, it's no secret that in the last five years or so, his status in Hollywood has undoubtedly risen quite a lot. 
After playing a brief part in The Dark Knight Rises, the actor went on to perform in the hit Netflix comedy Set It Up, along with movies including Hidden Figures, Everyone Wants Some, and Scream Queens. With his part in Top Gun Maverick, aka the year's biggest hit, he finally seemed to rise to superstardom. Okay, so we know what you're thinking. Powell may not look like Superman or even fit the mold that the character embodies. But the actor has demonstrated his versatility in a variety of diverse genres and performances. He could easily fit as the classic Silver Age 60s version of Superman, a strong leading man and a traditional Hollywood heartthrob, while giving a new dimension to the role of Clark Kent, don't you think? Honestly, who could be our top pick for the role? Just like Powell, another up-and-coming actor that could potentially surprise audiences as Superman includes Jacob Elordi. You know the one. The main guy from the hit television show Euphoria. Doesn't he seem like the ideal choice for a younger Superman? Now, Elordi perfectly fits the stereotype of Superman because he's currently only 25 years old. He also stands at a whopping 6 feet 5 inches tall with dark hair and a powerful jaw, both of which have long been associated with the character. I mean, this could be exactly what DC needs. The Superman franchise needs to cast a rising star if it wants to attract new viewers and keep the same guy for the role for years to come. A lordy like Cavill before him might just be too ideal a Superman prospect on paper to pass up. Is there anything this guy doesn't have? He's like the literal younger version of Henry Cavill. Last but definitely not least, we have the one, the only, David Alvarez. At the early age of 15, Alvarez's performance in Billy Elliot the Musical earned him a Tony Award for Best Actor in a Leading Performance in a Musical. Insane, right? At 15, we were watching Disney Channel and riding bikes around the neighborhood. He then took a much-needed break, officially returning to acting in 2021. But what did he do all those years in between, you might be wondering? Well, he actually joined the U.S. Army. Alvarez is not only a gifted actor, which is always important to take into account, especially when casting someone in such a legendary position. But his casting would also suggest a new kind of Superman, someone who might change the way we view the iconic superhero, maybe a more empathetic, soft version. And while that may sound unappealing to some, it could be so refreshing to see and exactly what the franchise needs to get people engaged in the DC Universe again. You're me because you can't control me. You don't, and you never will. That doesn't mean I'm your enemy. Because we all know that they are struggling in comparison to Marvel. Also, the idea of a Superman played by an actor of Latino origin would be great for DC, adding more diversity to their cast, while also pulling in a more diverse viewership. A win-win if you ask us. So, from the rumors circulating the internet that the DC co-creators fired Henry Cavill to other famous faces who could potentially take his spot, that's why James Gunn was always going to kick Henry Cavill out.